Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Saturday the 4th of May 2024. I hope you are keeping well and about to enjoy a great weekend. The weekend is just starting here, it's still quite early in the morning. Um, although I can hear people arriving for work at the nearby office slash warehouse. Um, it's, we often write LOL or say often, you know, people ha do write LOL, meaning laugh out loud on um, personal emails, not business email, hopefully, personal emails and messages and, you know, those kind of apps. Um, but uh, that doesn't mean that we do actually always laugh out loud. It just often means that we find something very amusing. But this morning I turned on the radio. I just woke, I'd just woken up and I turned on the radio news BBC World Service, as I often do, and <laughs> they said something which actually made me laugh out loud. Uh, they were talking about the uh, Stormy Daniels case, or the case of the, air quotes, hush money in, in New York, and apparently Hope Hicks, uh, a well-known Trump um, uh, aide and confidant, uh, and uh, she has the look for Trump to employ her. And um, she, uh, you know, somebody who's kind of remained pretty loyal to him over the years through various things. Anyway, uh, they just said a short bit about the, 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 the court case. They said that Trump had told her that Michael Cohen paid the money, the hush money, out of the kindness of his own heart. And that actually made me really burst out laughing. I actually was laughing at that for seconds, maybe 15 or 20 seconds afterwards. I thought it was so hilarious. Could you imagine somebody, I mean, I, we don't know if he actually believed it or whatever, but it just seemed to me a most hilarious comment. Uh, apparently the trial, in, during the trial, Hope Hicks uh, got very emotional and they had to stop the testimony for a while, um, let her recover her composure. Um, Anyway, the trial continues. Uh, let's get on with the game of Sudoku, shall we? This is the um, expert level puzzle on a Saturday for The Guardian. I can see two things already, so I'll tell you the two things that I can see. I can see fours blocking across here like this. And I can see, n was it nines? No, sevens blocking down there. And a seven across there. Those are the two things that I spotted um, immediately. Now, are the sevens going to give me anything else? I'm not sure. What about the fours? Well, we've got five blocking across here and here, and a five down there. So there's a five we can place. Uh, we've got one across here, across here, and down there. And I see two, three, and eight blocking down here, and I notice immediately I don't have two, three, and eight in these in this row yet. So that's going to be two, three, and eight over there, and leave me with a four. 
Now how about those two, three, and eight? Uh, can we, we've got two blocking there. Three and the eight, I think not yet. Uh, we've also got twos there. Okay, we have six blocking down here, and that's going to put six into one of these squares, so neither of these two squares can be six. Six blocking up here, and that gives me a six there. And we've got one blocking this square and this square, so there's one. Uh, remaining numbers here are five and seven, I think. Uh, I think we're looking for 5, 6, 7, and 9 here. 5, 6, 7, 9, 4 numbers we don't have, yes, and 6, 7, and 9 are there. So that's going to be a 5 then. Um, I wonder if I ought to wander through the digits now. Uh, w wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Nine blocks down here and nine blocks up here, so nine in those squares. Six blocks down here, so six is in one of those squares. So that is a pair of six and nine, right? So that is the other number that's going to be the seven. This is six and nine. So we are left with three, five, seven, fives, five blocks here. So five in one of those two squares. Block. Oh, no, that's not good. We've got five up there already. Doing things I don't need to do. Threes are there and there. Sevens are there and there. We can't do much about that yet. Let's wander through the garden of digits and see if I can find anything that I haven't spotted yet. One. Ones are here. I'm just looking at nines. No, nines are there. Oh, one, five, nine. Okay, one, five, and nine. Three numbers in those squares. One, five, and nine in these squares. So 1, 5, and 9 have to be up here, and then we've got 5 and 9 together, so that's going to be a 1. 1 down here, 
one up there and across there will give me a one in that square that's the last digit one actually and we know we're going to have five and nine in these squares um, but Okay, so we've got uh, five and nine up there, so six blocking across here and up like this will give me a six in that square there. I was going to uh, go through the digits. One is finished. Let's see what can we know. What do we know about twos? Ah, two across here puts two into one of those squares, blocking up there and two up there. So that will be a two then. Four blocks both of those squares. So in that column, there's the four. And it's three and eight to go here. And that means five and seven to go there. So seven blocking across there. There's our seven and there's our five. And this will be a five here. And we have five up here and across and across there. There's our five. I think it was nine, wasn't it? One, five, nine, I said in that row. And then nine blocking to the bottom. There's a nine. Uh, okay, one of the missing digits here is a three. That means this can't be three, and three blocks this square here, so that's going to be a three. One of the missing digits here is eight, so that can't be eight. That's going to be eight, and this is going to be four to complete the row. seven blocks up here there's a seven and the last number to get here is an eight Five down here, up here, and across there. That was the final digit, five. Seven across here, and down there, there's our seven. Seven's blocking like this. That's the final seven.
8 blocking down here, so 8 in one of these two squares blocking across, meaning that that square must be 8, this must be 3, 3 blocks up there, there's our 3. 3 blocks up here, and we've got 3 blocking this square, so that's a 3 there. Four blocks this square, there's a four, this would be two, I think it is. Four blocking to the top here, there's a four, and the missing digit is an eight. Eight blocking down here, there's our eight, and the last number to get here is a two. Oh, sorry, it's not a two. My apologies, six, sorry about that. Six across there, six across there, there's a six. One more number to go here, that's a three, I think. What's still to be done? Two, three, Okay, so 2 and 6 block up here. That means those squares are 2 and 6. And this is the other number. The other number is a 3. 3 blocking down here and across there will give me a 3 in that square. Four down here, down here and across there. There's the 4. Nine down here and across there, there's our nine. Nine up here, nine down there, there's our nine. Nine across there, there's our final digit nine. The missing did number here is six. Six blocks across there, there's our six. Six blocking up there puts the six there. This is two, I remember. And we also have two blocking down there, so there's another two. Two across there, there's a two. And we're looking for eight here, eight there, eight there. That's it. Our expert level puzzle from The Guardian for a Saturday once a week is over once again. And hope to play some other Sudoku with you at some point over the weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.